All right, go ahead, Bob. <laughs> my wife loves my vasectomy probably as much as I do. Probably just as much as I do. I just talk about it more, and I haven't been shy about it uh, until now. Because, gosh, there's a, there's a lot of you here listening to me talk about my bits. If it's in your heart to bring more children into the world, that's great. This talk might not be for you. But when I started getting serious with my then-girlfriend, I made an appointment with the urologist. He did a quick exam. He asked surprisingly few questions about my family uh, motivations. And I guess he just supports a men's right to choose. I was nervous until he asked how many he performed, and Dr. Peterson said he lost count after the first thousand. I came back the next week, and after some local anesthetic, the doctor made a centimeter incision along my scrotum. He snipped and tied off my vas deferens, put a pad of gauze on it, gave me a bottle of Vicodin, and I drove home. I never actually took any of the Vicodin, and, and usually I watch medical procedures, but uh, I didn't want to watch this one. The next day, I went back to work, and for the next 24 hours, frozen peas were my BFF. <laughs> Post-procedure, I needed about 30 rounds of target practice, and then I had to take an emissions test, and then another after two weeks. <laughs> I was very happy that I failed with flying colors. Did it hurt? Not really. The worst part was a mild and dull ache in the jewels, like when someone tells you the capital of Thailand. When someone, or, and that lasted only about 14 hours. You can contact Bridger Care for your, or your friendly neighborhood urologist for your own vasectomy. The procedure runs about $1,000 without insurance, or the equivalent of two years worth of diapers. <laughs> but insurance with family planning covers all of it. These days, we have different family goals. The Bozeman dream is having a walk-up condo with distressed seal accents a Subaru with a chocolate lab named Bridger <laughs> in the passenger seat, and taking a kid named Sam to a Montessori school, plus that underutilized pass to the ridge or Bridger. <laughs> and people are having fewer kids in it already. We seem to be having smaller families on our own without anyone paternalistically telling us to. You don't need a big family to pass on the family name when Facebook is full of Aronsons to Zwickers. Dad doesn't need you to take over the family farm, and you don't need six kids to help you run it. And nursing homes can take care of me just fine when I'm old and frail. <laughs> Thinking your kids are going to cure cancer is a lot of pressure to put on somebody that has a hard time cleaning the room. <laughs> What's more likely is they'll struggle with underemployment or recreational drug use. And I, shouldn't and I sure wouldn't want me as a kid at 17. According to the USDA, that $50 copay saved us at least $233,000. And with that, you could get 10 Subaru cross checks or 194 chocolate lab or doodle variations. <laughs> or 145 fat tire mountain bikes or a single day pass to Big Sky. <laughs> so now that I've painted myself as the most selfish person ever, there was a time that I thought about raising a little girl to cheat skiing, first aid, astronomy, how to build a fire, read bedtime stories too. But I realized I didn't need to make a baby to have those enriching experiences. We want to use our child-free life to be a good uncle and aunt, to serve our community, and be as much of a positive influence on others as we can. We love watching our friends' kids grow up. And we get to watch our neighbor's son grow from an infant to a quick toddler. He runs up and down the hallways, and you think we might get frustrated every time we hear him cry. <laughs> but we don't cry. But we don't, we don't scowl. Kids just cry sometimes. My wife routinely goes on dates with a 10-year-old girl to buy makeup and, and go to the hot springs. I've taught first aid to scout, scout kid groups. I've showed kids how to use a magnifying glass to set horse turds on fire. I've made up stories for my second cousin using Dixit cards. I like skiing with novices. And we discovered that we don't need to have kids, have our own kids to give fulfilling and enriching experiences to kids. Kids are fun, and I think most people don't really want to be parents, but they want to be grandparents. <laughs> and you can do what I can do. Just borrow your friends' kids, because parents love free babysitting. And Thrive is always looking for cat mentors. If you want to be a good uncle and auntie, be sure to give large gifts that make lots of noise. 
Parents love toy drum sets. <laughs> and anything that needs batteries. But seriously, it's just about quality time. Learn how to play Pokemon, tell stories, and let them win at games. I got snipped for my wife. For some, reason, for some reason, the lady often bears the responsibility for controlling birth. But fellas, be a good, pers be a good partner and shoulder that burden together. My vasectomy was way less invasive than similar procedures for women. It's 99.7% effective, and I think it's the best form of birth control there is. The alternative is reprogramming her brain with a pill or stabbing a piece of plastic up her baby maker. <laughs> I got snipped for the rest of the world, too. A world, a world of 8 billion people doesn't need another person, even an awesome one from my loins. No matter how green I am, a child doubles my impact on the planet. And just because you don't have your own kids doesn't mean you can't uh, form an extended family with those around you. You can be, believe in their awesomeness and hang up their mini masterpieces on your, on your fridge. And no, matter, and no one should feel obligated to find out if they'd make a good parent. But be a great one if you do have kids. I respect anyone's decision that fits their goals and desire for a great future. Guys, don't let anyone scare you about a vasectomy when it was so easy. Ladies, don't let your psycho mom convince you to get knocked up so she can fulfill her OMA dream. And guys, share that responsibility for family planning. Get your vas occluded, and don't forget to target practice. Thank you, everyone.